You want to get in this thing? No? You don't I'm care? Off, I'm off. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today, we're going to be working on the boat. We have got some new Garmin units with some side view, some down view. We're going to be putting them in the console. We're going to be putting them on the front of the boat. We're going to be getting rid of the old Lorance unit uh, that Chris has been using forever. We're going to upgrade. So today, we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial sort of a tutorial you're just gonna have to watch what we're doing but we're mounting a transducer on the back we're changing out the transducer on the front unit look chris, chris has got that one of the new units right there all garmin units all echo map uh seven inch i think they're seven threes sv and the seven three or 73 um cv so clear view and side view um so yeah come on along and uh we'll show you how we're gonna do it here we go Right, folks so before i get too in depth y'all have already heard from the intro what we're doing today we're going to start off with the back unit with the side imaging the side view and it's going to go right there on the back of the boat um, but we need to read a little bit more on the instructions get the transducer mounted transducer and running the cables are going to be the hardest part about this venture today and uh let's let's start it this is this is blind trust here guys chris is blindly trusting me I'm blind. I'm about the trust part. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a YouTube video on it, so I'm yeah, fully. I got one right now. I'm fully aware now. All right, so transducer mount is on, and I need a little doohickey right here, and this is the template. The doohickey, yeah, official, real official okay. stuff. Let's take these scissors. I'm gonna cut out this template. Now, here's the big thing. How do I know this thing's level? What? Like, I could follow the lines, but that's obviously not level. Well, I have a level if you want a level. I need it to be level, but I need that corner to be right on the edge. That looks level, but it looks can be deceiving. So essentially what I'm doing, I'm using this template and the mounting bracket, which is right here, is not even really gonna cover the full template, right? So, mounting bracket is like right there. But it's saying, based on how low the transducer is going to sit, if I can get these corners, whichever corner, if I were to put it on that side, I'd need to match it to this corner. If I put it on this side, I need to match it to this corner. That corner needs to be touching the edge um, and it will put the transducer in the perfect spot. Now, I'm hoping this marker bleeds enough. I don't care. It did. Good. It should just uh, sit right over there. So, uh, we got to look at the screws, figure out what type of... Uh, First off, Yeah. I assume the wire comes up. Yep. Okay, so there's no way going through that way. No, 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 we're not going through it. What I'm going to do is I've actually got, it came with some. Because and of how, they, because of how they run those, I saw it. Aluminum boats that come up the side. Yeah, it came with some, but we. I also bought a few extra. Those little wire ties, and we're going to run it up. And I was actually going to run it up to about right here and run it over and through. But we can also just come over to this bump too if you want. I was gonna try to keep it below the bunk, so if you ever bumped it, it wouldn't mess the wires. But I was gonna run it up. So look at some professional bass boats. Over and then through here and then through this hole. See how a... This is the nerve-wracking part, folks. Supposed to be like a complete marine sealant. I don't like the light they got on there. Those are nuts and washers. Whatever. It's 
screws, this one piece. Metal screw, rubber screw. Where is it supposed to be? I mean, right at the water line because your water should, or right at the uh, the edge of this. Like I want it to this this part to be, like they would almost be a complete. I don't know if that's gonna work because it's not. You're almost eyeballing it a little bit. One transducer mounted. Yeah. Huh? So I say. So as that dries, it'll keep those screws from backing out. Mm hmm Yeah, it's supposed to be like a, a legit water, water super watertight marine whatever. Yeah, marine adhesive sealant. All right. So I'm going to want to, I'll probably tack one down like right here to hold it. And we could do that, run it across the top there. Mm -hmm. And then circle it back around and meet in through there. What do you think of that? That work? Yeah. We'll see. Almost like we know what we're doing. Because yeah, I wanted to get it just started so I can pull it tight. I think it looks pretty dang good. And now we just feed it on through. Yeah, you got it. All right, then comes the uh, the next little task. Of <laughs> what? Yeah, where do we want the other unit to go? Oh, that's good right here. Any place you can put it. Yeah, and then where do we want the wires to come out at? Let's jump to the front of the boat because we're going to fish cables all the way back through there. Um. We might we might be able to tie into whatever this is tied into, but we're gonna have to take this front piece off to find out. If this pops off. How about that? Yeah, that's way easier. <laughs> Let's see. Should I just get the electric drill? Just bzz, 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 you think? Actually, I take it back. This isn't gonna be the hardest part. All the fishing, all these cables. You know what's gonna be the hardest part? Learn how to use it. Learning how to use the dang things. Just a whole bunch of wires. Mm -hmm. So now that that's free. Free the power, and then this is your. We should have a good bit of this tucked in there and that is your transducer so this one's gonna be crazy easy to install then that's what it looks like because we're not gonna have to yeah we're not going to run anything it's all just gonna go back in here you just want to finish this one up since we're up here and then we'll jump back on the back one I'm doing whatever you need to do. I'm your girlfriend. You have, you have zero opinion on any of this. Yeah, apparently, I, yeah. All right, so let's get this guy's train. I mean, this thing is just as big. Same size. The train, yeah, but one's a side scan, one's not. I would have thought this one would have been smaller because Maybe that's why they're so big. Big they got, yeah, they got some big deucers. All right. 
Let's start with a transducer and work our way back. Is that even gonna fit? Barely, but we're gonna have to move that thing up as far as we can. Move what up? I move that. That's gonna be super tight. Pull the weights. You'll have to release it. Right. Are you going with me starting to zip tie this thing down? it is. Can't really tell though. It's doing something. Yeah, it's going. Right. Not sure if it's going in the right spot or not, but it's going. We gotta be real delicate so we don't want to lose that screw. Mm. That bolt. Sit that, sit. That ain't going ours. Can't go anywhere. There. <laughs> Too tight. <laughs> Okay, folks, so let me catch up to speed on what we've done. We've gone to Lowe's. We've got a couple little things, just wire connectors, uh, disconnect connections. And now we're going to connect all these together. How well these both fit in there? They will. Yeah. Oh, yeah, get right there. The red and the green are back. Now I gotta get the black connected right there. If this doesn't work. Black to black. And then we can hide everything again. Uh, if you want, we can grab that unit, plug it up, see if it works. And if it powers up, we've successfully done one. Hey, hey. All right. Front one is powered. Let's Sweet. Front one's done. Let's finish the back one. Elevate it to uh, get out of the way. All right, folks, so the units are in. Uh, we've got to work on this little piece right here. We gotta go get some bolts for it. There's the new unit. There's the cables for it. it. Goes right there. And then we got this nice one up here. The front one's got the down view or the clear view. Um, only down view on the, right there. Y'all probably saw it going in. There's the transducer for the front. Clear view on the front. And we've got clear view and side view on the back. Chris, what I have you? the only view. You have the only view, yeah. All American view. If only we all had the all-American view, uh, we'd, we'd probably save money on electronics. Mm -hmm. Probably catch a lot more fish, and yeah, sure, save money on electronics. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out if you're ever going to run stuff for your own boat. Um, the big thing that helped us out was using a thing of roll of fish tape, which is just that metal, those metal rods that I was unrolling and throwing through the boat just to pull stuff back through. Um, but again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Um, if not, I'm sorry. We tried to talk as much as we could, but we were kind of just in a let's get it done mode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you could, smash the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below on things we should know about these Garmin units. If you have an Echo Map, it's an Echo Map, not an Eco Map. Echo, Echo Map. Have an Echo Map unit yourself. Um, side imaging, down scan, anything we should know, heads up kind of things about it. Leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't already, 
hit that red subscribe button, turn it gray, and hit the ding dong notifications if you wanna be notified of any of the new videos we release. And I think it's gonna do it for us. We are out. We will see you on the next one. Later, guys.